I haven't been recording uh, for the past couple of times playing. I've been playing this game for a few hours now. I just felt like doing it without recording, so forgive me. Um, I made some upgrades while you guys were gone, and um, I'm in the middle of a run right now, and I felt like, you know what, let's start recording. So just hit the button, and it's now recording, and yeah. So, I'm looking at the uh, Logitech G27 uh, wheel, and um, could be interesting, could be an interesting buy, um, but it's kind of expensive, so, so I don't really want to spend a lot of money on it, but, um, yeah, I don't know, you guys can, uh, can give me your thoughts and opinions on that. I, I want to get it, I really do, and I found it at Amazon for two thirty eight. I think it was, but uh, two thirty eight is still a lot of money, and I just, I can't, I don't know. I probably could get it, but then I wouldn't have any money to spend on games, so then I would be like, wheel but no games. I'm considering buying like a cheap $50 one from Best Buy and just giving that a shot, just seeing how that goes because fifty dollars isn't cheap by any means, but for a wheel, it's cheap compared to the G27. And uh, I'm thinking, you know, obviously there's going to be a huge difference, but if it does what I want it to do, then I'm not going to, you know, I don't care about the responsive where the wheel jumps back and you know, reacts to the game and stuff like that. That's not important to me. I, I mean, it would be nice, but um, if I can get, if I can just get a wheel that makes it easier to drive the game in any game, not just this game, and make it seem more realistic instead of either you're turning or you're not turning, I won't, you know, gradually turning. And as I was telling Mattel in the last episode, um, you know, I... I thought about doing the whole connecting my Xbox controller and just trying to take the cheap way out. I may still try that. I don't know yet. But uh, I don't even know if that'll work the way I want it to work. I could drive with a controller. That's not a problem. So anyways, let's talk about what I did in the game while uh, you guys were not here. Um, I bought a bigger garage. I took out a loan. That's probably one of the worst decisions I've made. I took out a loan to buy a bigger garage, I bought uh, two more trucks, and I hired two workers. Actually, I bought three new trucks. This is one of them that I'm driving right now. Obviously, you're noticing that the scenery has changed, and I didn't explain that first off my bat. Um, so I'm driving a new truck I bought. Uh, it was a little bit more expensive than my old one, and I, I think it's better. I don't know. Honestly, I didn't look at the specs. I just kind of... I just kind of bought it and went on. I don't know if it's good or not. Um, I've already upgraded it, put a new engine in it, uh, all kinds of neat little things. Added the the ten wheels instead of what is it six? Normally you get six, and then you add four more and adds ten. So I've already done all that, and I'm hauling the load right now. I have two employees, and kind of funny story. <laughs> At the beginning of this video, well, no, before I even started the video, at the beginning of this route, uh, I had $99,000, and I upgraded my garage <laughs> again, so I could afford more trucks later. I mean, you know, so I have sort of park them later. It's a five-bay garage now, I believe. Anyway, um, upgraded my garage left me with like 24000 and for some reason my money keeps going down, it's 17000 now, and I'm, I know I have the banks to pay and all that, but I have workers who should be doing their jobs and making me money, so that's a thing, um, so hopefully that money will not stay low long, and I can start getting my, and my loan paid back. So that was my goal. I've, I basically want to triple the income at this point with, with uh, three more workers. Two more workers, including me. I mean, two workers plus me. I'm not basic math. Nah. 
Um, so I thought I would have this great idea to just leave the game uh, all tabbed and running, and uh, it would allow my workers to make me money while I was not doing anything. Turns out, if you're alt tab, the game doesn't actually play, so they weren't doing anything, and so that worked out great. Um, which actually is probably a good thing it didn't, because I was not in a rest area where I was parked, and if I had came back and had fell asleep at the wheel, then uh, probably wouldn't have made it to drove to a rest area to rest. So, good thing about that one. And now you can see that I just went down another thousand dollars. Couldn't find a job and had to return empty. Oh great. His fuel and maintenance costs are three hundred and twenty two dollars. I'm gonna have to fire these people. <laughs> what do you mean can't find a job? What? I have never not found a job. I mean I've found jobs that I didn't want, but never have I ever not found a job. I get the feeling this guy beside of me is going to try and, there he goes. He's going to say, going to try and come over on me here in a second. So I'm going to prepare for that. But, um, but yeah. I got tired of making videos. Um, I just, I just wasn't feeling it. So I was like, I'm going to play a little while and just see what I can do and maybe not record. You know, I got plenty of recordings. We got a couple of weeks worth of recordings. Like, if I try to stick to a schedule of putting these up once a week, I've got a couple weeks, you know, a month, more than a month at this point, recorded, pre-recorded. But, um, but I don't know if I'll stick to that once a month, once a week thing. I think they get the same amount of views regardless. Ooh, hey, I forgot that I was not taking that exit. I think they get the same amount of views regardless if they're 30 minutes, if they're an hour, and regardless if I post them, uh, here, like one day at a time or one week at a time or whatever. So I may stick to one week on these. That way I can spread it out a little bit and do other things throughout the week. Maybe I can pump out two different games at once during the week. That's the goal. That's what I hope to be able to do one day. At this point, you're stuck with Euro Truck Simulator. Um, also, I want you guys input because last time I did this, I did SimCity and I cut it into like 10, 15 minute intervals. And most of the input that I got off of that was, why do you do that? You know, make them longer. So, um, so the way I started doing it with this game, is I decided that I would just do it until one complete round is done. They have bright lights, which by the way, work. I wanted to point that out right now, but you have to hold J to make them work. I want them to stay on. Anyway, um, Back to what I was talking about. I want you guys' input to see what you think about the uh, letting them go at this long. Because I think my last run was like an hour and 12 minutes long or something like that. Uh, my last last one I can remember. I don't know if it's the last video that I posted or not. But the last one I remember recording took an hour and, and uh, like 12 minutes to do. Um, and I know this because I that was the last one I edited. So let's just put it that way. Um, so, is that too long? I mean, you know, I need your guys' honest opinion. If you're, have, if you have no plans on sitting here and watching this for an hour, uh, should I split it up? Should I leave it the way it is? You know, input, input, input. Always a good thing. So, I, I did kind of start this one mid-game. I'm not even, uh, you know, it's not nowhere near me first starting. But um, I actually hadn't intended on recording until I just was driving. And I was like, you know what I think I should do? I think I should record. Actually, earlier I was just listening to music driving. And I knew that I knew that I couldn't record that because YouTube you know, would flag me. So I just listened to it and, and done a few routes. By the way, about 30 minutes before hitting record, I just discovered that this game has cruise control. <laughs> Which would have been great 30 minutes ago, three days ago, possibly a month ago. I don't know. It's been. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. So, um, I'll tell you guys a little secret. Uh, 
if I sat here and bought every game that I played, I would have no money. Um, this particular game is not mine, it's a friend of mine's, and he's given me his cereal to use. And we thought, you know, it's a single player game, it doesn't have to be online, so apparently what we believe is the game, uh, you know, should be able to activate on both computers without any problems. Well, I don't know about him, but I know about me. <laughs> I've been having this constant, like, I'll be playing, and as soon as I finish a mission, it'll pop up, oh, you need to activate your game. I've already activated the game. And I hit activate, and it says, activation successful, and then it lets me play the game for a little while. And then, like, I finish a mission, and it goes, you need to activate your game. And I'm like, are you serious? So, <laughs> so um, and that could possibly, woo, I thought I'd. You know what? I thought I was going to get over, but I decided not to. Uh, that could be because we're trying to run the same game with the same serial on two different computers at the same time. I don't know. Um, but one thing I like to, uh, I looked up on Google, and one suggestion that I'm trying right now is uh, blocking this game from uh, talking to the internet at all with my firewall. And uh, so far, so good. It hasn't popped up saying activate since I did that. Um, well, it did, but then I just restarted the game, and it was fine, so, um, that was a little weird. So, yeah, don't really know if that is going to work, and it, it, I think it's probably, if it continues, it's going to probably frustrate me to the point where I'll go buy the game, even though I don't want to. Like, the game's awesome, I love it, but I just can't, sim I simply can't afford to buy every game if I did I would have no money. Um, also, Far Cry 3, someone, uh, talking to someone on Steam, and I don't know how, he won't tell me how, obviously that's how he makes his money, but uh, he can get games on Steam a lot cheaper than usual. Like, you know, I think it's because he's not in the United States, and I'm not real sure how that works, but something about the currency conversion or something, somehow... He gets the games a lot cheaper, about half off of what I would normally pay. So I asked him how much Far Cry 3 was. I think he said $18. And so, and that's that's with his profit. I mean, that's after he collects his percentage of profit that he always does. He actually has an eBay account that he has set up where he sells these games. Basically what he does is he lists them for sale, about half what they cost. He still makes a profit, and then he'll gift it to you whenever uh, you pay him, which I I wish I knew how he was doing that. I would start my own little eBay, but he knows I would do that. That's why he won't tell me. <laughs> so, that's that. Um, but yeah, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably end up trying to get Far Cry 3 from him because it looks so amazing and I couldn't decide if I wanted it for Xbox or for PC and... To find it that cheap for PC, I think I found which one I'm going to choose. <laughs> so, we shall see where it goes if I do end up getting it. I don't know. Far Cry 3 it seems like an amazing game, but, um, but at the same time, I'm not really into first-person shooters. That's not something I do. Like, I'm, I can do racing and driving and simulators all day, but, um, when it comes to first-person shooters, I'm really not that interested, and I don't know, something about Far Cry 3, the previews, the gameplay, it all just seemed really interesting to me, but I don't know, it's, it may not be what I'm looking for, and I don't really want to buy it if it's not what I'm looking for. You guys know what I'm interested in. Oh man, I killed my cruise control. That was a stupid idea. Um, you guys know what I'm into. Uh, driving as you can see, my truck and simulators and stuff like that, MTA, or MTA and um, GTA, stuff like that. So that's, that's me. That's what I like. So, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. We'll see what happens. We'll see if I decide to spend the money on it. Maybe I'll find someone who has. <laughs> but I think it's online. It's like has like an online, and you can't you can't really share games that go online because those have issues. Something else.
bolts, I was going to say. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> but anyways, today's Monday, as of recording this. Which, by the time this goes up, I'm sure uh, it will be way beyond today. But uh, today, uh, as of recording this, is the day that I am going... My Xbox and all of its little stuff is going to ship out to me, which is uh, exciting. I'm excited to get it. By the time I put this video up, I'll have already had it and probably have some videos up about it. But, yeah, well, whatever. At least you guys can, can uh, follow along. No, no, no. So it is currently 12.30 in the afternoon. And, um, in real life, not in the game. And I'm driving. And I'm really starting to wonder if someone, if anyone knows anything about this game, fill me in on what I don't know. But I'm really starting to wonder why my money's not going up. I have two drivers. The earning reports say... Yeah, i seen that coming. I did, I seen that coming. There was no stopping it. It was, it was going to happen regardless. The earning reports say that my drivers are making $600 a day average profit. So, well, 600 euros. <laughs> so, um, that doesn't make any sense to me why my money's going down rather than up. It should be going up a thousand a day. Which, it should be going up a lot more than that, but whatever. for any gas yet. I can drive another little while without having to take a break and I just skip lanes while I was looking at that. Did you guys see that? You were looking at the other one. The other one too. So. We, do, we shall continue. Oh, I've only got three hours left of the drive. But I probably will have to rest before I have to rest before I actually make the delivery, but we'll we'll refuel and rest and as soon as I start getting it. income of negative nine dollars. Well, that's wonderful. How? Okay, guys, if you know anything about this game, feel free to fill me in what I'm doing wrong. By the time this video is posted and I read your comment, though, it's probably I'm probably gonna be bankrupt. We'll just say that. But, in the case that I'm not, still put your comment, just in case. <laughs> I didn't really do a lot of research on the game or, or learn anything about it. I just kind of jumped in and started playing it. And I'm realizing now that probably wasn't the best idea. I, I, need to, I need to read up on it. I need to find out more about it. I need to you know, familiarize myself with how things work. Because, obviously, like when I went to the truck upgrade shop, I was looking at bigger engines, and and basically we, you know, out of common knowledge, you know that bigger engines give you uh, faster takeoff, you know, more power to take off. But it doesn't say anything about increasing your top speed, which I guess is not possible because I've never gotten a truck that goes over 55, and you know stuff like that it doesn't tell you. What else doesn't it tell you? Now I'm getting tired. That's great. I don't know. There's like this big cab thing you can get put on the top of your truck, which, you know, what does it do? Does it improve the aerodynamics? It doesn't tell me. Does it uh, make for a more faster, comfortable sleeping? It doesn't tell you. I mean, it can't be a $40,000 part, $40, part that's only for looks. That's just, that's insane. No one would ever do that. I wouldn't do that. Maybe you guys would. I don't know. But it doesn't tell me what any of this stuff does. It just kind of expects me to, to want it. It's going to set the cruise at 33, apparently. It's going up 35. Maybe 36. 
<laughs> Try to keep up with these people. It's a little bit, a little bit more comfortable now that I have cruise control. I can uh, just kind of set it to what they're doing, rather than you know hammer down or not. <laughs> it's, it's really annoying when I'm trying to do it, but cruise control should save me. And now. Yeah, that's what I've been doing all morning. It's playing this game and not recording. But I felt like the need to start recording mid-game, so I did. And editing is going to be crazy because when I edit the videos, I usually try to look, uh, you know, at the starting point and the ending point. That's how I know where, what, what files go where. And this one doesn't have a starting point. It starts right dead in the middle of the road. So, yeah, that's never going to... It's going to really suck. So, so we got a gas station coming up. And then we'll take a rest there. And we're only about two hours out from our delivery. sleep I get charged. Oh look, I'm only at nine thousand dollars now. I'm telling you these guys are running away from they're not helping, they're just hurting. I mean I'm having to do these really long runs to make money in order to just not run completely bankrupt. Because my guys aren't working. They aren't making me anything. Might try firing and see if that works. Wow, I just seen that trailer in the complete other light. I, I've learned that I'm hauling longer, bigger trailers now, and I need to remember not to, or actually to swing wide, because otherwise I end up getting stuck. it at 55 just as soon as I hit it here. I'm not going to hit it. I hit it. I hit it. I hit 60. <laughs> I'm going to cruise at 60. Even though I can't actually go 60. Let's do it. Oh, man. I hope I don't take these curves too fast. I, I utilize both lanes hoping that it doesn't make me flip. That's not an issue. I have a new email. Dare I look at it? Or dare I don't? I don't know. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm trying to drive. You know, looking at email, texting while driving. Probably not a smart idea. about rolling it in the next curve up here. I hate red lines. They 
always screw up red lights. Because, I mean, there's four cars here, but they'll go slower than Christmas pulling out of here. We'll get caught in this red light three times before I get out of here. Okay, I can read my text messages now. That's a good idea. That's what I'll do. Now that I'm in traffic, that's probably the best times to look at your text messages. Okay, we're going to go. We're going to go. Are we? Nope. Nope. I could probably just sit here and read the text messages for five more minutes and think they're going to get through here. There's a lot of turn yell in this car in front of me. We'll stop. Like that. Like that. Oh, there's a huge truck behind me, but he'll stop. I'm going to stop. So. Okay, we're going, we're going. I have a text message I really do need to read. I've noticed that this particular truck does. I don't know. I don't know if my other trucks did it or not, but I've noticed it on this one. Um, whenever it shifts gears, it skips a gear. So like, it'll go from D1 to D3 to D6 or D5. <laughs> I can't count. Uh, you know, it was just went from. Well, okay, it went from 11 to 12 just now, but. Um, Oh, we are getting off here. Okay, I was fixing to jump back over. But I noticed that it, it skips. It goes from... Like, it doesn't do them in order. Like you're supposed to, I would say. I don't think you're supposed to skip one like that. Whatever.
Wow, I seen that coming. Okay. Well, only one way out of this one. Drag him. Gear it down. Let's go. Nope. Gear it down. You can't do it in second because you're a retard. Stay in first. Wow, I'm dragging. It's just right in here. Come on in here, buddy. We'll fix you up. arguably say pie is not easy because I have never made pie so I can't honestly say that making pie is easy but Alright, I'm going to check on my other stuff and I'm going to end the video here.